Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm in year 13. Uh, when I was in year 11, I completed the BSERC qualification in health and fitness. Uh, this is level one and two. Uh, as part of this, uh, it's split into an exam and coursework. And uh, about the coursework, uh, I really like the coursework just because it makes you more independent and prepares you for research tasks uh, and the level three part of the course. And I, I find that this level one and two um, part of the qualification really does lead you into the level three nicely. Uh, I'd highly recommend this course. I feel like it, it's quite more uh, realistic and gives you an idea of uh, how work is later in life uh, because it's not just one exam like you might have for uh, like your English and maths and sciences uh, so yeah it gives you a, a broader range of exam styles um, that will help you out in the future. My experience with vocational education started in GCSE. I studied childcare and health and social care. I've been doing childcare and health, health and social care from GCSE to A level and this has made my experience better because I've increased my knowledge in different sectors like my nursing, childcare and all that. I think that vocational education is important to young people because it would give them the skill that they would need for university. In year nine, I decided to choose design construction engineering because they fed my interests. I always wanted to know what happens in a car, what makes it move, and then also with aircraft, which is what I'm currently pursuing. Um, however, in the, from the years in nine to 11, um, it was more of a stepping stone to getting towards into sixth form, so I could then study level three engineering in which um, the career I'm pursuing is going into the RAF as an aircraft technician, and this will help me get towards that goal. So my experiences with vocational education is actually quite unique because when I was younger and I did my GCSEs in sciences, it actually didn't give me what I needed to pursue my dream. My dream would be to study paramedic science and eventually become a paramedic in the NHS, and, science, and the science that I took didn't actually give me the proper knowledge or the proper qualified experience to move on to that course so the vocational course that I took with the health and social care at GCSE then I also pursued that at A level and childcare at A level. This was important because it gave me the sort of set of skills and the unique abilities to pursue my dreams and actually study at university. It also gives generic skills as well for example organisational skills, communication uh, skills and teamwork skills are very common in vocational studies because there's often tasks where you have to work together, you're sort of talking with each other, sharing those being able to improve your own pieces of coursework as well. In, in year 11 I studied engineering and cooking as they were my interests and it's, it's a very good thing because it gives other people who don't, who struggle with learning GCSE stuff a chance to prove themselves and prove that they are capable of more and that's given me the opportunity to study cooking and engineering to a further level and help, help myself get to the apprenticeship that I want to get, which is in engineering. And so in year 10 and 11 I studied business and engineering and in year 12 and 13 I've studied um, level 3 engineering and they're going to be very useful in the future because it's allowed me to experience like getting kind of like hands on to what these industries involve. Um, so one advantage of schools offering vocational qualifications is that you can get an early start into something that you're going to enjoy and potentially pursue as a career when you're older.